Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got the back and forth going on with the game and um, uh, 50 Cent, man. Yeah, that's right, these two are back at it again, man. Uh, Kodak Black talking about what's going on with that mulatto situation, man. We got Jay-Z uh, secretly doing something in the studio and um, uh, we got a loss, not not necessarily in the culture, but I would consider it to be part of the culture, you know what I'm saying? It's a culture of our uh, world, you know what I mean? Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey yo, if this your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Yo, that notification bell is waiting for you to tap it. So go on and give it a tap. And the subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. You follow what I'm saying, man? Hey, yo, every now and then your boy celeb like to listen to a little bit of rock and roll, man. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, okay? And we got um uh, we got a we got a we got a loss in the rock and roll culture, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all know about the Foo Fighters, man. Uh, please, sis, don't be trying to listen in. You know what I mean? Somebody, nah, nah. You know, every time I do the every time I do the recording, somebody want to stand by the door and listen in. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, we we, we got a loss uh, with one of the Foo Fighters, man. I apparently their drummer has died. You know what I'm saying? Taylor Hawkins, okay? The man was about 50 years old. I know a lot of y'all like who the Foo Fighters, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to expand your repertoire. Of music, you follow what I'm saying? Um, uh, now the Foo Fighters family is um, uh, this is what they said. They said, "quote Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor Hawkins. His musical spirit and infectious laughter will live with us forever. Our hearts go out to his wife, children, and family, and we ask that their privacy be treated with the utmost respect in uh, uh, in this unimaginably difficult time." That's right. These cats was inducted into the Hall of Fame just recently. You follow what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I just want to throw that out there. Hey, yo, I got a, I got a secret to tell you, man. Listen, 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 man, listen. I got a secret to tell you, okay? It involves Jay Z. Shh, shh. Don't tell anybody, man. All right? Now listen. Uh, let me, let me make sure nobody's listening. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, here, 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 there goes Shorty over here trying to act like she, she mind her own business. Listen. According to Hot 97's Rosenberg, right? It was stated, quote. I've had multiple people say things to me about certain producers who are well known and loved being in the studio with maybe the most iconic rap artists of all time. No, they're not talking about no damn Ja Rule. They said, I'm talking about Jay-Z, man. Shout out to Ja Rule. And what I'm gathering from different kinds of conversations, it sounds like Hove's back in the lab. And it sounds, I don't even like to call him Hove. Jay-Z is back in the lab and it sounds like he's trying to do something. He has a purpose. Close quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something tells me the purpose might be making music. Anyway, keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, man. Yo, remember how yesterday we reported to you that Kodak Black's engineer wasn't having it concerning Big Lotto feeling the pressure from a male feature? You know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, get and hop in the sack with her, man. Well, in case you missed it, Yak's engineer essentially said the lovely lady is on some diva-ish, for real, for real. Now, apparently someone commented on a post talking about, oh, Kodak needs a new engineer, right? He should have just kept quiet. And Kodak Black seemed to agree with that statement, saying, quote, facts, homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Close quote. Uh, the idea being... He, uh, he let out too much info behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like too much behind the scenes info was let out. Now, Kodak also added the following statement. Hey, yo, take a listen. You know what I'm saying? But he just, I don't know what I'm saying. Nobody ain't say that. That's who. That man did not say that. She talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's who. She, that's who. I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, basically. Everybody take different. Everybody take. It's different, homie. When I was seeing that, I just got on that. She ain't talking about me. You know what I'm saying? They got nothing in me. And they saying I'm chasing or oh, acting like I want it or oh, acting like I'm mad that you ain't texting. So I got none of that. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't never get on that like, oh, 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 acting crazy. All I said is she ain't talking about me. That's it. You know, I know she's not on her album. Whatever, I don't know, I don't know, I saw him fight, I man. But, you know, everybody's different, but. You know what I'm saying? Me being his little. <laughs> hey, yo, you like, hey, yo, what he say? <laughs> he said, I don't care what y'all think, she ain't talking about me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cause you know she threw that out there, man. And y'all remember the engineer was like, "Yo, man, she on some diva ish. She ain't like the way things is going down." Apparently, I think the whole situation was like, he did something on her. He did like a feature for her, 
and she was supposed to have done a feature for him, but they try to switch it out and be like, nah, don't do a feature on his album, do a feature on one of his protege's albums or something like that. And she wasn't feeling that or whatever, something to that effect. You know what I mean? Uh, let me do my shout outs real quick because today we got a short one. That's right. Um, it's, uh, uh, yeah, we got a short one for today. So we, l- l- let me do my shout outs real quick. Who, who we got on deck? All right. Believe it or not, I got my, I got my shout outs. I got my shout outs. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I got to go look for them. You know what I mean? Um, uh, Dr- Dream, Dream God said, hey, yo, celeb, timestamps, please. I'm thinking over, I'm over here like, hell no. Timestamps? Hell no, bro. You got to listen to the whole thing. You want to find the part, person? Just listen to the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Why would I tell you what time to... to... American Original Son said, Rappers cannot stop promoting gun violence because it's part of their contracted culture. <laughs> I'm afraid that I might, I'm afraid that might actually be right, man. In fact, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost kind of sad because we, we, we never said this before, man. Matter of fact, Dom G says right here. Dom G says, uh, celeb. So he's a, yo, bro, trust me. I served in the military and was deployed twice. I've also been to every continent except Australia and Antarctica. And I can tell you this. I felt more safe outside of the USA. Come on, man. I felt more safe outside of the USA than living in it. Hey, look, man. I I, 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 I don't even have to go very far outside the United States to know that, man. Number one, yo, we got the Second Amendment. If, if like a regular citizen could be strapped, you already know what's crazy. You know what I'm saying? What? I had a conversation with, um, I was talking to this lady. I was in, uh, I was in Michael's, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you like, what you into arts and crafts, nigga? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, this lady, I, I was like, yo man, Biden said he going to jump into this war. He said, yo man, we ain't going to play if Russia's starting to use chemical weapons. That's what Biden said. Biden was like, yo, we're going to respond if he use chemical weapons. Lady, I was, and lady was like, oh, oh, can you believe it? I mean, da, 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 da. I, I was like, lady, lady, listen. We're, we're super violent over here. She was like, well, just we'll live a little longer and you're going to see that we're... I'm like, lady, lady, we done came over here. We done came over here. We done killed our parents and murdered the neighbors. We super violent over here. In fact, we... we Look, we mass murder our children in the damn school, lady. Well, who the hell... Who the hell you think we are? The lady, she was having an identity problem. You know what I'm saying? She don't know what America is. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. So, um, what is it? Saint Heat came through and said, Celeb, I feel you, man. I don't give a cuff today either. I almost said the word. I don't give a cuff today either, bro. But I'm meditating before bed tonight so I can wake up in a better place tomorrow. I feel you, man. Sometimes you just got to pray. You know what I'm saying? He said meditate and I say pray. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, the scriptures say meditate on the scriptures. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all are like, oh, here he go. Yeah, here he go. What? What? I said it. You know what I'm saying? Cats is proud to promote drugs, guns, and twerking whores. Right? I said wars. Okay? Working was when I say Jesus, everybody gets scared. Don't that say something? Cats be like, oh, I'm tuning out. For when he talk about Jesus, I'm tuning out. But if I talk about guns and the whole nine yards, y'all cool with it, right? I'm glad y'all tuned out. Anyway, um, uh, or they tuned out because the rest of y'all still here, man. Shout out to y'all, y'all saying. Yo, shout out to Queen Mo Fire. Okay, I just want to throw that out there. And shout out to BX to BK. You know what I'm saying? Both the two of them was engaging in some dialogue. I love y'all. Y'all mean. Oh, um, uh, what's the name of the other dude that I want to give a shout out to? He always be trolling me, man. He always be talking crazy to me, man. And I said, I said, you know what, man? Like I said, this dude right here, why he always coming at your boy? Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Um, what's his name? Control Alt Delete, man. Shout out to Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Delete is constantly, constantly criticizing your boy celeb, but he shows up in every video. So shout out to you, big dog. I appreciate that, man. I don't care if you criticize me, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I do, but I don't. Because teachers don't have feelings. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Like, a lot of people, they don't believe that. I, I'm serious. We, all the feelings are gone. You know what I mean? We, we've been neutralized. You know what I'm saying? Our conscience, not our consciences, our, our emotions have been neutralized. You know what I mean? Got seared as with a hot iron. Anyway, um, let's wrap this up. So, um, uh, and finally... You like this is short? Ah, whatever. Check this out, man. I, I don't know if you heard about this one, but apparently the game made a very curious statement about a week ago. Okay, he stated that something. He said something along the lines of, "Quote: It's crazy that Ye did more for me in the last two weeks than Dre did for my whole career." Close quote. Now, I'm sure a statement like that ruffled a few feathers. Okay, namely, music exec and media proprietor slash co-founder of Interscope Records, Jimmy Iovine. Okay, Iovine, whatever his name is. Okay, this man, along with Dre, founded. Beats Electronics, okay? So you can imagine how Jimmy feels about what was said by the game. 
Fast forward to a few nights ago when a video footage surfaced of the game walking past Jimmy Iovine at a game with Jimmy seemingly not even acknowledging the game's presence. Now, I didn't really think much of it, okay? And neither did the game seem to think much of it either, right? Because, um, uh, I mean, do you really want to stop and greet every single human you know? No, I certainly don't. Apparently, the internet was distraught at the fact that the two didn't seem to acknowledge each other. In fact, 50 noticed it, and so it begins. 50 dropped a king of clubs and posted, quote, LOL, the man didn't even look at him. Get this guy out of here, right? 50 wrote the records. I guess um, 50 wrote the record. I, I think this is like um, 50 might have felt some type of way about the narrative that the game was a ghostwriter of sorts. I think that's what 50 was alluding to. Anyway, he said 50 wrote the records. Okay. Then he added LMFAO. The game cut 50's King of Clubs with, uh, <laughs> with a Jack of Spades card on the table and posted, quote, nigga, I ain't even seen Mr. Burns. He's talking about Jimmy. And if you wrote my records, Write you one today and put it out, Ninja. Your rap career died with them lollipop strap tank tops. You an actor, and that's why you ran to TV. Give us season two of that Tommy Bull-ish and lead this rap-ish to ninjas, ninjas who can spell correctly and actually got bars. Goffy ni ni Ninja. <laughs> Goffy Ninja. I think he meant Goofy Ninja. I think he was purposely misspelling. I hope he certainly was. He, he, he added hashtag... He gonna delete this comment in the car. Close quote. I love how the car is a place where folks delete comments that hurt, you know what I'm saying? And cry before they go into work. <laughs> or, or am I the only one that does it? Uh, that is crying before I go into work. I never delete comments, yo. I was, I was talking to the queen last night. I said, yo, I don't, we don't delete comments over here. You know what I'm saying? We believe in freedom of speech. Anyway, the back and forth may have taken a bit of a wrong turn along the way, right? Because the game damn near screamed out renege, right? And flipped the table by posting, quote, hit the real swiss and uh, timberland asap and stop running from this versus why everybody want to verse 50 oh and tell your girl stay out my dms yikes if she don't want her man <laughs> overweight fat as cuff hanging upside down like rotisserie chicken at the super bowl <laughs> Uh, with a pick of 50's head on a chicken alongside a pick of 50 hanging upside down at the Super Bowl. And the man also posted a pic of 50's lady, Cuban Link, DMing him and dropping her number. You know, looking for work as a video vixen of sorts. Now, this was years ago. This ain't nothing recent. So don't get all, don't start running around, you know what I'm saying, holding your phone, showing everybody else in your house. Okay? And everything stopped right there. You know damn well everything ain't stopped right there, man, because Cuban Link was listening from behind the bush the whole time. And apparently, she ain't playing no games. She quickly fired back and posted, quote, nah, what? <laughs> With the side eye emoji. Not from 2015 when everyone wanted to be a video girl. You irrelevant cuffing bozo, right? Cry laughing with the cry laughing emoji and a facepalm joint. She said, you thought you ate with that one, close quote. Why do I feel like this is far from over, man? You know what I'm saying? And yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, Cuban Link, uh, the, the game posting Cuban Link asking to be a video girl back in 2015, man. Does it even matter, man? You know what I'm saying? Is this the beginning of, of a whole new, uh, what is it, like a uh, season of, you know what I'm saying, trolling and shading back and forth between the two? Is this the game's way of trying to get a versus to be, go you know, going on with 50? Is he trying to bait the man? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.